Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. This is a woman chess grandmaster Atusa and today I'm gonna show you how you can win your games as black against one e4. So if you have difficulties playing as black against e4 or if you're someone who's interested in uh, knowing you know chess traps and tricks and you want to beat your opponent very quickly in the opening then this video is definitely for you so keep on watching so let's start the games i'm going to show you five different positions that you can win your games and the first move is c5 yes you want to play Sicilian defense. Sicilian defense is the most challenging opening, in my opinion, and it's one of the most popular openings as well. Basically, move number one, you're challenging your opponent. Yes, of course, you can play e5, you can play more solid openings, but you know what? This is not my cup of tea. So I prefer to go for an attack to challenge my opponent, basically. So in this position, white has different ways to play, but I'm going to show you some opening traps so you can, you know, win your games very quickly. So in this position, one of the ways for white is to push the pawn to b4 and sacrifice the pawn. Although this line is not that popular, but if you're playing Sicilian defense as black, you need to know this variation. So after b4, uh, we have the wing gambit because white is sacrificing the pawn on b4 in order to get a fast development and white can also control the center later on if black takes this pawn, white can push the pawn to d4. So in this position, you can take the pawn on b4, you can accept the gambit and after a3, you can play d5. If you take the pawn on a3, it can be a little bit tricky since white pieces are more active in this position. So it's a little bit harder for black to play. But you can play d5 in this position. So you are attacking the center. And as a general rule in chess, whenever your opponent is attacking you on the sides, you want to hit the center. You want to strike back in the center. So after d5, let's say white takes your pawn on d5, you can take with a queen, and here if white wants to take the pawn back on b4, you have a great move. I want you guys to pause the video and find the best move for black. Yes, the best move for black here is to play queen e5. Notice that it's not only a check, but an attack on the rook so this is a fork and we're gonna win the rook on the next move so white can resign in this position actually so let's say if the queen goes to e2 you can simply take the rook you're attacking the knight and white cannot trap your queen so this is a winning position for you okay let's go to the beginning and see the other variations for white after c5 your opponent can also play c3. This is called Alapin variation or Sicilian c3. Here you can play d5, e takes d5, queen takes d5, knight f3, e6, d4, knight f6, bishop d3. And here you can play knight c6, but there is a trap here that you can try it in blitz games, especially blitz games. Why? Because your opponent doesn't have enough time to think and he might make a mistake. He might think that he's winning, but suddenly he is just losing immediately. So here you can push your pawn to c4. You can attack the bishop. And the best move here for white is just to move the bishop to a safe square, c2 or e2. But if white thinks he can win this pawn, and if he checks here and attack this pawn, and if the knight goes to c6, I can simply take this pawn. But actually, queen a4 is a blunder. Why? Because black can push the pawn to b5, and now suddenly both pieces are under attack. And if the queen moves, black can simply take the bishop and win the game because we are up in material. So this is another way to play. You play c4 and you're hoping for queen a4 because after queen a4 you can just win the bishop easily at least. So let's go back and learn another trap in this opening. 
Okay, after e4, c5, white can also play knight c3. So against knight c3, you can play knight c6, knight g to e2, and then you can play g6. You want to fianchetto your bishop. You put your bishop on the long diagonal. White plays d3, then you can play bishop g7, and now bishop e3. The bishop is attacking the pawn, so you move your knight to d4. Here, if white moves the pawn to g3, this is the worst move in this position. And black can checkmate the king in just one move. Black can move the knight to f3, and the white king gets trapped. So it's just a checkmate. Beautiful checkmate, isn't it? I mean, the king is trapped by his pieces, and the knight can checkmate the king in a beautiful way. In this position, if instead of pushing the pawn to g3, if white takes the knight on c3 with the knight, this is another blunder, because pawn can take on d4, and we are forking the knight and the bishop. So in this position, it's not that easy for white to develop his pieces. Okay, let's move on and look at another uh, variation. So e4, you play c5, uh, let's say I play knight c3, knight c6, instead of moving the knight to e2, white pushes the pawn to f4. This is another line that white can play. After f4, you can play g6, the idea is the uh, same, you want to play bishop g7, knight f3, bishop g7, bishop b5, knight d4, Knight takes d4, c takes d4, you're attacking the knight, knight e2, and here you can play e6. The idea is to get your knight to e7, and now if white pushes the pawn to d3 in order to open up his darker square bishop, we can win a minor piece here. So the best move here for black is to play queen a5 check, and... We have a fork in this position, and we're going to win the bishop on the next move. So let's say bishop d2, and then we can take the bishop. And this position is winning for black. Okay, let's go back. So e4, c5. What if white pushes the pawn to c4? Here you can play knight c6. Why? Because notice that e4 and c4 are weakening the square on d4 because if you can plant your knight on d4, no pawn can attack your knight. So we can have a like nice square on d4, which we call it outpost because white can't attack the knight with the pawns. So let's say white goes knight e2, then you can play knight f6, knight bc3, and here you can play knight b4. So there is a little trick in this position. If white pushes the pawn to a3, or white pushes the pawn to g3, black can checkmate the king in just one move. Knight d3 check, another beautiful checkmate with the knight, and the king is trapped. So the name of this checkmate is also smothered maid. Smothered maid is when the king is surrounded by his own pieces, and we deliver the checkmate with the knight, because the knight is the only piece that can jump over pieces, right? So this is another beautiful way to uh, checkmate the king. So I hope you guys can use these tricks in your games and win your games quickly. If you have any suggestions or if you have a favorite opening that you want me to make a video about, please write me in the comment section and I will read them all and I'll try my best to make the next video about your favorite opening. If you like this video, don't forget to hit that like button right now. Thank you for watching and I'll see you soon.